Hello everyone, this is VU3ZAG, Suraj here. Today we will be discussing about fan regulators. I have got one capacity type fan regulator uh, and it is a damaged one. We will be checking what are the components uh, inside this particular fan regulator. And we will be also discussing about uh, the functioning of a fan regulator. This is a common type of fan regulators that are uh, popular and available in market. Here there are two wires coming out of this particular fan regulator. So let's open it. Removing the back cover. I can see few components here. Uh, the main part is two capacitors. The front side uh, we have a knob. So I am removing the knob. So that I can remove the nut and uh, thereby removing the front panel. So these are the parts inside this particular fan regulator. I can see four resistors here. 2 quarter watt resistor and 2 half watt resistors. On the front side we have a rotatory switch. On the back side we have two film capacitors of high voltage rating. So the rating of one capacitor is 2.2 microfarad and voltage rating is 250 volt AC. And it's also mentioned that it's a safety capacitor. And the value of second capacitor is 3.3 microfarad and voltage rating is 250 volt AC. It's also mentioned that it's also a safety capacitor. So both these capacitors are actually film capacitors of high voltage rating. Moving forward, we'll be discussing uh, what are the functions of this uh, particular circuitry, and uh, we'll be discussing a little bit on theory part also. Here we can see the advantages and disadvantages. So first of all, we'll check out the circuit. So this is a circuit diagram, this is the fan, it's a capacitor in uh, series and one resistor in parallel and one small resistance in series. So the main purpose of this capacitor here is to provide an AC reactance uh, thereby controlling the fan speed. The purpose of this uh, RP, resistor in parallel, is to discharge the voltage stored in the capacitor when the whole circuit is turned off. So let's check out the advantages and disadvantages. So the main advantage of capacitive type of fan regulator is the energy efficiency. And the second one is that there is no humming sound. As you compare with the phase angle controlled uh, fan regulators, there is a problem of humming noise due to the varying uh, firing angles of the triac. So, in this capacitive type of fan regulator, it is actually a noiseless type of fan regulator. The third one is linear speed. Since uh, the capacitor is fixed and uh, we are using a fixed rotatory switch, the speed will be linear. As compared to phase angle controlled uh, fan regulator, we are not using fixed switch, there we are using variable resistor and the RC time constant is varied, adjusting the firing angle of the triac and thereby adjusting the speed of the fan. Now the fourth advantage is that it is highly reliable as compared to electronic type of regulators. These fan regulators are having disadvantages also. Because of very compact size, we can only use film capacitors here. The size of the film capacitors with a rated high voltage is very compact so that we can fix that inside this particular fan regulator. The second disadvantage is that it is fire hazard. Even though we are adding protective resistors here in parallel with the capacitance, Still there is a chance of fire in case of any short circuit. 
So let's uh, just check out a uh, few terms that will is important to understand the working of this particular fan regulator. There are three terms. One is resistance, reactance, and impedance. What is resistance? Simple terms. The electrical resistance of an object is measure of its opposition to the flow of electric current. We represent it as ohms. The symbol is ohm. So this uh, resistance is applicable for both AC voltage and DC voltage. The second one is reactance. In simple terms, electrical reactance is the opposition presented to alternating current by inductance and capacitance. So here we have two types of reactance. One is inductive reactance, one is capacitive reactance. And this reactance will be applicable only for AC voltage. And uh, in DC voltage, there is no reactance either from inductance or either from capacitance. So this is the formula for calculating inductive reactance. It is represented by the letter X. So inductive reactance is equal to J omega L, where omega is nothing but 2 pi F, where F is the frequency of the voltage source. L is the inductance value in Henry. Similarly, capacitive reactance is represented by Xc that is equal to 1 by j omega c. Again the same omega that is 2 pi f frequency of the voltage signal and c is the capacitance farad. So here uh, we can clearly see that this uh, both uh, reactance is dependent of frequency. When frequency becomes zero that is for DC voltage the frequency is zero. So at that time this xl and xc are invalid. At that time only resistance will be effective. So that's why inductive and capacitive reactants are not applicable for DC circuits. It's only applicable for AC circuit. The next one is impedance. Impedance is the opposition to alternating current presented by the combination effect of resistance and reactance. As I mentioned earlier, this is applicable only for AC circuits. Impedance is uh, represented by the letter Z and Z is equal to R plus JX where R is the resistance and X is the combined reactance. Combined reactance is represented by X equal to cell minus XC because XC Capacitive reactance is always negative. So the total reactance will be equal to XL minus XC. Now let's check out uh, how this circuit works and how can we calculate the value of capacitance. So this is a simple uh, regulator circuit. Here one capacitor is there in series with the voltage source and the uh, output of uh, this uh, capacitor is going to the fan and the other uh, end of the fan circuit back to AC neutral thus completing a closed circuit. Considering the voltage across the capacitor as VC and voltage across the fan as V fan and the input voltage, uh, voltage source as VAC we can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law in this particular loop. Capacitive reactance is equal to VAC into Z fan minus V fan by into Z fan by V fan. So this is a, uh, so this is a simplified equation that we will reach uh, once we solve this Kirchhoff's voltage law in this particular circuit. Now we have capacitive reactance. So the main fact is that uh, the designing person should know what is the expected V fan that is voltage across the fan and what is the impedance of the fan. So if do these two values are uh, available then we can calculate the capacitive reactance for each uh, positions from uh, 0 to 5 that the fan regulator need to be controlled person has to calculate the particular value of uh, reactance applicable for each speed level. There are some set of guidelines uh, and uh, industrial standard for uh, setting this uh, speed of the fan that we will discuss in next slide before going to that the value of the capacitance uh, is obtained by C equal to 1 by 2 pi F into XC where XC is the capacitive reactance and F is the frequency of the AC voltage. So normally it is 50 Hertz. So from this we can uh, estimate the value of capacitance for a particular speed level. Circuit diagram we can see a resistor in parallel with this particular capacitor. Normally we use a high value resistor in kilo ohms say 220 kilo ohms etc. Or it can be more than 220 kilo ohms. So this high value resistance is always connected in parallel with this capacitor. The main intention is that uh, when this voltage is turned off to discharge the voltage stored in the capacitor in a slow manner so that uh, it can reduce the chance of getting electric shock. And also in the previous circuit uh, one resistor is placed in series with this that will be a very low value resistor just to limit the current flowing through this capacitor. So this is the basic uh, working principle of this particular fan regulator. Now let's check out the standards used in designing of the fan regulator. So as per Indian industrial standard IS370 
1979 this is an industrial standard definition used for fan regulators so as i mentioned here uh, the main uh, i have covered a few main points in this uh, particular industrial standards those who are interested can uh, go to this particular link i'll be posting in description to get more details so the basic uh, standard is that uh, regulator electronic type of speed regulator shall be capable of uh, reducing the speed of the fan at least 50 percent of the full speed at the test voltage and next one is that the speed difference at any running position shall not deviate more than plus or minus 50 percent from the ideal speed difference calculated on the basis of maximum and minimum speeds divided by the number of steps so this definition is applicable while designing the fan regulator so suppose the maximum speed of a fan is 400 rpm and minimum speed of a fan is 200 rpm and the regulator is having five steps from 0 to 4 and the ideal speed difference uh, should be 40 rpm that is if you are moving from position 1 to position 2 the speed of the fan should increase 40 rpm suppose uh, at uh, position 1 it is 100 rpm just an example and when you move the switch from 1 to 2 it should increase to 140 rpm so this is standard so according to this particular standard we have to calculate the required capacitance required series capacitance and design the circuit so now let's check out uh, the circuit diagram of the actual fan regulator that we have just deassembled so this is the circuit diagram after decoding this uh, particular pcb I have dismantled all the components so again uh, this is same 2.2k this 2.2 microfarad 250 volt AC capacitor and uh, this is a 3.3k so 3.3 microfarad 250 volt AC capacitor and there are two resistors is uh, 4.7 ohms these two are 4.7 ohms half watt resistors and there are two 220k resistors so that are quarter watt resistor 220k resistors and the switch uh, used is a rotatory switch so this is a rotatory switch and it is a dual pole quad throw switch okay so this is a circuit diagram here so let's check out what happens when you change the fan speed positions so first of all let's check what happens when you set your fan speed at position 0 here we can see that the connection point respective to position 0 is not connected to anywhere so it is a no contact position hence the fan will remain in off position now when you change the switch position from 0 to 1 this highlighted circuit gets activated current will flow from phase line through this 2.2 uh, microfarad capacitor and from there it reaches the switch and through the switch position 1 it uh, enters to the fan and from fan it gets terminated to the neutral point as we already discussed due to reactance of this particular capacitor some voltage will be dropped at this point and the remaining will be passed through this fan so depending upon that speed of the fan will get varied so at this position the total reactance of this 2.2 microfarad capacitor for a 50 hertz AC voltage will be induced in this particular path and thus the fan speed will be very low now what happens when we change the position from position 1 to 2 at this time this circuit path will get activated now the current will flow from phase through this 3.3 microfarad capacitor reaches the switch and from the switch it reaches the fan and then terminates at the neutral point so here the AC reactance induced by 3.3 microfarad will be effective in the circuit path and thereby the fan speed will be controlled so as you can see here the capacitance value is higher for the switch position 2 
as compared to switch position 1. We know that the capacitive reactance Xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi Fc where F is the frequency of the voltage signal that is 50 Hz and C is the capacitance value in Farad. So we know that the capacitance is inversely proportional to this capacitive reactance. When the capacitance value gets increased, the effective capacitive reactance gets decreased. So the same principle is used here also. So the effective reactance of 3.3 microfarad will be lesser than the effective reactance induced by 2.2 microfarad for a 50 Hz AC voltage. So obviously what happens? The speed of the fan will be little bit higher as compared to position 1. Now what happens when we change the switch position to position 3? So here we can see that at switch position 3 due to a specific uh, connectivity in this particular switches the current will flow in this highlighted path that is from phase the current will flow through this 2.2 microfarad as well as this 3.3 microfarad reaches the switch and then terminates to neutral by passing through the fan so here also what happens here is this 2.2 microfarad and 3.3 microfarad gets parallelly connected. So in parallel connection, the total capacitance will be equal to sum of both capacitor. So the effective capacitance will be 2.2 plus 3.3. That is equal to 5.5 microfarad will be the effective capacitance in this path and the reactance Xc will be 1 by 2 pi Fc it is F into 5.5 into 10 power minus 6 because we have to convert this into microfarad so that's why this 10 power minus 6 is there okay so now obviously as the capacitance is going higher the effective reactance at the path will be little bit lower. So obviously the fan speed will be higher for this position number 3 as compared to position number 2 and 1. Now let's check out what happens uh, when the speed position is changed from 3 to 4. The highlighted path will get activated. It's a simple short circuit. Here is uh, there is no capacitance or reactance in the path. The current will flow from phase, goes directly to switch, and from switch reaches the fan and, and terminates to the neutral point. So here at position number four, the fan is getting complete voltage, 230 volt directly, and at that time the fan speed will be maximum that's how uh, this uh, fan speed regulator is working hope you have enjoyed this video if you like please subscribe and click on bell icon